All right, we are on lesson 1-9 again. So it's 1-9.2. India. India's young, yeah. All right, so we are trying to prove that the measure of angle X plus the measure of angle Z is equal, or plus W is 180 degrees. How are we going to do that? Tons of people get XP because I'm going to need a lot of help. Beverly, what should we do first? Oh, by the way, if you participate at all today, at least once, you get one piece of candy in addition to the candy for dressing up. So I'm going to leave it on my desk over here. I trust you guys to, dra to grab one piece of candy, Beverly. Um, so make sure that you are only grabbing one piece of candy. Just do it automatically. If it's Nope. As long as I just say, yeah, go get candy, I'll give you the thumbs up. So Beverly, tell me what I should start off with. The dots at the bottom. What does that dot therefore. mean? Yeah, there it is, therefore. No, no, no. Oh my god. <laughs> Beverly, go for it. Okay. Therefore. The measure of angle X. Measure of angle X. Measure of angle Z. Measure of angle Z. Measure of angle W. Measure of angle W equals 180 degrees. And we don't know the reason, but we know that that is the first set up step. So thank you, Beverly. Go ahead, grab some candy. You're up on the board. I have the next step. Already has candy. Easy. Candy. Jane, let's go for it. All right, so next, <coughs> what I wrote was M. Are you right here? Yeah, yeah. The measure of angle W. Measure of angle W. Is equal to the measure of angle Y. Is equal to the measure of angle Y. And what is your reasoning for that? Uh, uh, because it equals 180 degrees. Because what equals 180 degrees? The, the triangle adds up to equals. So I agree that I, I agree that x plus y plus z. Angles. What are vertical angles? Uh, <laughs> Would you want w? you want to share some xp with someone else? Yes. Angle w and. Our vertical angles. Our vertical angles. All right. Wow. Go grab, grab some candy. Wow. So your two column proof on the right hand side, we have vertical angles. Did you just hit my child? <laughs> All right. I'm going to choose someone that's quietly raising their hand like Samantha. The measure of angle X. Yeah, angle X. Angle X. Plus the measure of angle Y. Measure of angle Y. Plus the measure of angle Z. Measure of angle Z. Equals And why? Because they do is. Because what about the triangle? Yes. No. Yes. No. Go for it. I didn't get candy. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. Anna, go grab some candy as well because that was a very formal idea. But next time, raise your hand. <laughs> wow. You didn't even raise your hand, dude. It was so formal that I just had to give it to her. <laughs> If she had said triangle has 180 degrees, I wouldn't have given it to her, but this is very formal, so I like that. Okay, so what's next? What's next? What am I doing? Oh, no one gets candy. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. She's doing narc. Ellery, go for it. So using the equation properly, we already know that the measure of angle W equals the measure of angle Y, so you can just plug in Y if you put it down below for W. Okay, yeah, so we're basically going to swap out this y and change it to a w. So it changes into that w down there. And then what was your reasoning again? You're using the substitution property of equality. There it is. Go grab some candy. But I also solved it a different 
How did you solve it? Well, because at first I was not really, I was so it was sort of stupid, but it worked. Okay. So instead of doing the triangle, uh, after 180 uh, degrees, I made the angle to the left of y, I labeled it as a, and did w plus a equals 180 degrees. Okay. And then I had to measure angle x plus measure angle z also equals a. X plus z is equal to? A, okay. With the, like, A, the triangle and the one to the side, like, B plus Z equals A. Okay. And then I plugged in that, then, um, I don't even remember how you did it. Trying to figure out how you'd get anything equal to A. Oh, because A plus W equals 180, so therefore X plus Z plus Y equals A plus W? No. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm not sure. I might not have done it right, but like the way, like if you have, like a triangle, like this, and then that angle plus that angle equals this angle. Oh, the exterior, okay. Yeah. So you had like a, a line that came out like this, and you said this angle right here is equal to y plus z. Yeah, but I just kind of flipped the triangle and had a z that equal to z. Oh, okay. I am, I'm seeing what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, that is a hard way of doing it, yeah. and maybe someone else thought that way too, but um, this is one way to do it. That's another way to do it. Did anyone do it a different way? No. Nah. Nah? No. All right. So we are going straight into the book. In the book, we are on... I know that in my version, it's this right here. So go to lesson nine. Um, we're on number three right now. By the way, the homework for tonight, um, some people already did one and two, so you have less homework than other people that did not do their homework. We're doing one through three, and those need to be formal proofs. They, ha they can't be an attempt. They have to be a nice formal proof because we're having two days of doing these nice proofs. So. We need to prove that this measure of angle Y plus Z, so this Y, this Z, that is going to be equal to W plus X, so W plus X. How are we going to do that? And it tells us you need to write and label the diagram that is not yet labeled for this proof. So we might need to label additional things about the diagram over here. How are we going to get started? What do we know? What's given from the diagram? Something with triangles. We know stuff about triangles. Leo, you wanna go for it? What do we know? So you have the reasoning, good. So what can I write about that? What three things are you gonna to choose to add up to 180 degrees? Yeah, help and chewy. All right, Colin Chewy. Okay, this is why I put the first line. All right. Measure of angle A. Measure of angle A. Yeah. Plus 138 equals 180. Plus 138? Yeah, the angle, right? No? Oh, crap, I'm on the wrong one. Uh, I thought it was the homework, I'm sorry. Okay. My bad. Um, so let's go back here. And yes, the answers are online, but you knowing how to do the problems is, I'm going to make a random test that's not online, so make sure you know how to do it. Ellery, go for it. All right, you said a lot of things, and I guess I really need to write smaller because I'm running out of room. I'm going to have to write over the diagram. And what was your exact reasoning again so I can write it down? Interior angles of triangle sum to 180 degrees. I did not. All right. Yes, so we know that these three angles add up to 180 degrees. What next can we do? There's another triangle up there somewhere. So, Ellery, you don't get more candy, but you get more XP now. Do I get my candy? Wait. Um, no, no I because you were no, on the wrong I, problem. How do you get more candy? Because I answered. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you answered your question, I don't remember exactly. Yeah, yeah go for it then. 
for answering your question. Yeah, so you're not up on the board, so grab some more candy, and I'll give you the XP as well. Wait, wait, wait. That's too much candy. No, I, she got candy, but not XP. Oh, yeah. so your name be, needs to be up here? Okay. Martin, you go for it. Degrees. Why? Oh, the same thing, so we can just do the double quotes. The same thing as above, okay? Yeah, so what we're saying so far, just making sure that everyone can follow us, is that this angle right here, this Y, Z, and A, all three of those angles add up to 180 because that's a triangle. The same A. X and W, all three of those also add up to 180 degrees because that's just a larger triangle, but still a triangle. All right, we have a bunch of information. Maybe that's enough, maybe we need more. Can I be completely transparent? We can also do the last line. Does someone want to help us with the last line all the way down here? Someone that maybe hasn't gone up here? Colby, you haven't been up here yet. Therefore, measure of angle Y plus the measure of angle X. W plus the measure of angle X. Something was off. Measure of angle Z right here. Z right there. Nice. Yep, there it is, Colby. Go get some candy. All right, so somehow we need to set these things equal to each other. We need to combine them. Is there any way to somehow combine our step up here and our step down here? Can we somehow combine those? Because eventually we need to have something equal to each other. Because we have, what happened to our equal sign? There's our equal sign. We have to have this side over here equal to, what's going on with my pointer? Yeah, so this side over here equal to this side over here. I see three people that have already participated. Once they have a check mark next to their names, I'm going to have to give it to someone else. So Martin and Colby, you're still Oh, OK. You're on the wrong problem, Chewy. That's it. You want to try it? No? Oh, I thought I saw your hand. Jane, are you ready to volunteer? Uh, I don't know. Can I, I want to be honest with you, but I want you to get mad at me. I'll try not to be mad at you, but I can't make a promise. Okay, I'll tell you after this. I don't want to say it right now. Okay. You're clearly in the flow. I'm clearly in the flow. Thank you for recognizing that. Martine, you want to give it a shot? No? Okay, I saw your hand, I guess. Colby, yeah, go for it. Measure of angle Y plus measure of angle Z plus the measure of angle A. So you're oh, so far you just rewrote this line, right? Everyone can see that also. So far we just wrote this line up here at the top. So now what we're saying is we're saying that this first line up here is equal to the second line. And why do we know that? Colby? They both equal 180. So what should be our reasoning over here on the right hand side? Uh, that, that's not quite true because they aren't congruent triangles. Congruent triangles means they're exactly the same size, but those are different sized triangles. Something about substitution. There it is. Say it louder. There it is. So substitution, property of equality. All right. So thank you, Colby. That's another check mark to your name. 
All right, someone that doesn't have a check mark next to their name, what do I do next? We're almost there. We have one more step. Martin and Lorea. Lorea isn't up here yet. Lorea, go for it. Yeah, cancel out the A's. What do you mean by canceling them out? You can't just cross things out randomly. You can't just say cancel the X and the Y. Why can you cross off both A's? You're, th you're thinking of crossing that one off. Oh, I'm, I need to change colors on this side. You're thinking about crossing off this A and this A. Why? Yeah, so what are you actually doing to both sides of the equation? There it is. You're subtracting them. And once you subtract them, we're done, right? Once we subtract them, then we have y and z. We have y and z. There's y and z. Then we have w and x. We have w and x. We're there. So that's actually our final reason. We can come down here and say, this is just by subtraction. And then technically, it's the subtraction property. No, of equality. Wow. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, thank you. Go grab some candy. Wow. All right, that's number three. Make sure you have it. I need to find a way to write smaller on here. Let's get rid of this because it's confusing me. Not done? Okay. We're on to number four today. Yeah. So we are on number four. This is, this is being recorded also, so it's going to be online if you need it. But you should be taking the notes with Mr. Sindel. Here we go, number four. We have two pairs of parallel lines. We have a parallel line BA. And that's parallel to DC, those line segments. Line segment BC is parallel to line segment DE. All right, how are we going to prove, and it, it tells us that A, B, and C, D are parallel, B, C, and D, E, those line segments are parallel. Somehow we need to prove A, B, C. So it's talking right now about, let me change the color over here. So A, B, C is this angle right here. That angle is the same angle or the same measure as measure of CDE. So I need to prove those two angles to be the same measure. Those two angles are congruent. How am I going to do that? Let's start with the given information. I basically need to repeat this part right here. I need to repeat the fact that A, B, and C, D are parallel and B, C, and D, E are parallel. We have never done this before, so Mr. Sindel is going to do this and you are going to copy it down. I'm going to say this. Line segment AB is parallel to line segment CD. I'm recopying it down. It needs to be in your proof. If it's information about a diagram or information that's given in the statement, you need to write it down. But your reasoning is going to be interesting. What does those two, li like two lines mean? Yeah, these two lines. These two lines mean parallel. Oh, Here is the reasoning. This is new information that you haven't learned yet. If it's given to you in the problem, then the reason is given. It's just given to you. So just go over here on the right-hand side and say, that's given to us. That's the given information. We're also given more information. How am I going to write it right here? Aurelio, go for it. Aren't they all equal? Aren't they all equal? Okay. So yes, they are equal because it tells us that right here. What are you trying to say? Oh, you're trying to do the thing at the very end? Yeah. Okay, so I'll come back to you in a sec. Right now I'm asking a question about the given information. I'll give you your XP. How do I write this line? I need to write the other given information. This information, B, C, and D, E are parallel. How do I write that information? Martin, you don't have a check mark yet. You can get some more XP. Tell me what to write. So line segment BC. You're saying it correctly. Line segment B, C is parallel. Line is line to line segment D, 
E. And what is our reasoning? Given. There it is. All right, Aurelio, it's your turn. How do I want to go? Aurelio, you are going to write our conclusion for us. Tell me what to write at the very bottom down here. Oh, you write that uh, predator triangle thing? Predator triangle thing, which stands for what? Therefore. Therefore. OK, and what is my therefore going to say? Go grab some candy. All right. So I have all the given information. There's nothing really else I can get from the diagram aside from how to connect pieces of information now. How am I going to start connecting the fact that this angle and this angle are congruent? I need to start connecting my pieces of information. What am I going to do? And I'm going to pause here for about a minute because I want to see if someone can see it. And if someone can't see it, I will give us a hint. What is the next thing? Somehow I need to get here. These two angles are congruent. I see Colby has an idea. You can put your hand down if you want, so you're not raising it for another minute. Colby already has a check mark though, so I need to call on someone else. Ellery has an idea. Question. My question is, what do I do next? I need to somehow connect the fact that these two angles are the same. What am I going to do? Anna has an idea, and I can call on her because she doesn't have a check mark yet. Relio sounds like he has an idea, but he doesn't have a quite raised hand. No one else wants to try this one, aside from the three that have their hands raised. All right, Anna, go for it. So they both have, they share a line in their alternate interior. Okay, so you're seeing a Z thing. Of, um, the top of um, A to B is the same as the bottom of Okay, so I, th I think I see what you're saying. Can I try to draw and you can tell me if I'm correct or not? You're seeing this Z right here. Uh, and you're seeing another Z over here? Yeah. Okay, let's just do this Z first. Yeah. So uh, what... Then that would mean that B is the same as B to The measure of angle DCB. DCB, you're writing this down with everyone. The measure of angle DCB All right, good job so far, Anna. What do we know about the measure of angle DCB? It's Measure of angle CBA. And instead of saying CBA because I know that it's eventually going to be ABC in the bottom, can I keep it ABC? Yeah. All right, let me Come back here. I need to undo. I'm going to make this ABC. And you said it, but say it again. What was the reasoning? Yep, it's alternate interior. Whenever you see a Z, it's alternate interior, and you say alternate interior angles are congruent. There's your reasoning. Alternate interior angles are congruent. All right. Thank you, Anna. And Martine has an idea for the next step. And it's, Anna did say we're drawing another Z. So that's the hint I would have given as well. Is there a quiet raised hand that wants to give me the next step? Only Aurelio knows, Ellery knows, Colby knows, Anna knows. The only person I can call on out of those people is Aurelio because he doesn't have a check mark next to his name yet. No, you get more XP though. All right, Aurelio, tell me what to do. I get a candy. Nope. XP. Nope. I I leave it. But tell me the answer. So Z, boom, 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 like that. Okay. What about that Z is going to help us? I don't know. I just saw it. You okay? You saw the Z, and it is going to help us. 
So what we have already said so far, really, to help you out here, is we've said that this angle and this angle are the same. So we've gotten from here to here, but we haven't gotten to this angle here yet. Somehow we need to finally connect this angle and this angle. Does that Z that you drew help us to find that those two are connected? It does? OK. So tell me what to write over here then. Something about the measures of angles. I'll set it up. Measure of angle something. You want some help from someone that hasn't participated? You can call him Beverly if you want. E, D, C. So you're saying this angle right up here. OK. Measure of angle B, C, D, or D, C, B. All right, and what is your reasoning? Yep, it's the same thing. It's both Beverly and Aurelia, you got XP, thank you. All right. We're done. Someone needs to give me the final reasoning right here. What goes right there? We have connected them. We have now said we can get from ABC to DCB, and then from DCB, we can get to EDC. So that is this step right here. But what are we doing in that final step? What is our reasoning? We're there. We just need to switch some things out. What's another word for switching things out? With a quiet raised hand. Caroline, yeah. There it is. Substitution. Thank you. Substitution. Substitution property of equality. Thank you, Caroline. And you haven't participated yet? Go and get some candy. All right, and we get out of here at 49. So that will give us 15 minutes if I pause right now. Let's try to run through example five as fast as we can because number five is number two, essentially, on the homework. It's very close. We need to prove that these angles, these unlabeled angles here, here, and here, add up to 900 degrees. So how are we going to do that? Um, this is going to be easy XP. Someone that doesn't have a check mark has to participate. What should I label these things? Tell me what to label them. OK, I'll try it. Leo, yeah, go for it. And are you going to label the outside or the inside, A? You get to choose. Outside. So A, B, and C like that? Sure, thanks. Go grab some candy. All right. So I need to A plus B plus C equals 900. That's my final step. Someone teach me, someone tell me how to write this down here in the bottom right. How am I going to say that? Martin, thank you. I, I want to call on you. I want to call on Beverly, but you guys have already participated so many times. I need to call on someone new. Chewy, yeah, go for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, start at the bottom. Start at the bottom. Those three dots, which mean? Therefore. 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 I said for um, So we start with the measure of angle A. Measure of angle A. And then plus the measure of angle B. Angle B. Plus measure of angle C. All right. Equals 900 degrees. Equals 900 degrees. Thank you, Chewy. Go grab some candy. The servers are old. I would not recommend them. It is turned from a soft candy into a hard candy. All right, we have our final line. What else do we know? Oh, I see a triangle up there. Look, there's a triangle. We know things about triangles. We know things about triangles. If I don't see someone new raising their hand, I am cold calling. I am randomly going to call on you. Be warned. Yeah, Sam.
The interior angles of the triangle. Yeah, what about them? These ones right there. They do. We should label them, right? What letters should we give them? We can't use A, B, and C. They're taken. D, E, and F. Okay, tell me what to write. You have the reasoning. Tell me what to write. I'll help you out. Measure of angle. And then Beverly, you can't give her the last one. She has to do it by herself. <laughs> You'll probably get it, Samantha, though. Look at this. We have E and D. E and D. We have E and D. Which one are we missing? <laughs> there it is. Equal to? What? What do we know about triangles? Equal to 180. And why? Say the reason again, Samantha. There it is. Interior angles of a triangle add to 180. Go ahead and grab some candy. She already did. Oh, you did? Oh, you're up there already. Didn't see you up there. All right, you're checked off now. Interior angles of a triangle sum to 180 degrees. Everyone is copying this down with me. I don't see enough pencils writing. All right, so next, I need to somehow figure out how to get from A to D. What do I know about A plus D? What do I know about angles around a point? And again, I am going to have to call on someone that has no check mark next to the name. If you have a check mark, you have participated so many times already, I need to call on someone new. Maybe those people with check marks can maybe talk to people around them so that those people can participate. Those people can get some candy. Ooh, yes, Emily. Measure of angle A. Why do we know that? Something about angles around a point. Angles around a point. Say it again. Uh, not quite. Because, so a, if A was only this part of the angle and that was D, then they would be congruent. But they, they add up to some number, right? Sum to. So I need to hear from Emily, though. Sum to 360, okay. Oh. Can I take a All right, Emily, you can go grab some candy. Thank you. She already got candy. Did she? Yeah. Uh, her name isn't up here though. No, but she did like at the beginning. Class. For her costume? Yeah. That's okay. She still gets to get. All right, take a swing, Jaden. Are you up here? Yeah. You have a ch no check mark. Go for it. Is equal to, sorry about that. Whoa. What just, Whoa. hold on. Sometimes this program does weird things. Measure of angle B is equal to, uh, the measure of angle E. Measure of angle E. Because they are vertical. So be careful here. So B, <laughs> B is this entire angle. Yeah, so. <laughs> B is not just this angle, it's the entire angle. I'm trying to tell you that they're not equal to each other. Oh, so, okay, so they're not equal to each other. It's going to be almost the exact same line up here, though. You can fix it. Equals 360. So let's come back here. Okay, plus the measure of angle E equals 360. Why? Because the angle's on a point at the 360. There it is. So it's the same reason. You got your check. All right. And we need the last one. It's the same reasoning. This is easy. It's F and C. Something about F and C, almost the same as these last two steps. I know Martine wants to participate, but sorry, you already have a check mark. Someone new. Yeah. Let's
F and C are equal to each other. Be careful, that was Jaden's error too. Plus. Oh, plus, plus, plus. Plus. Measure of angle F plus. The measure of angle E. Hold on, hold on. I need to hear from Leo. I need to hear from Leo. Guys. Leo, go for it. Measure of angle C, yes. Yeah, it's the same one, right? 360 degrees. And what's your reasoning? And you can read this off. There it is. Yeah, good job. Same reason. Quotes. Everyone write this down. We're writing this down. All right, we're really close. We have utilized this diagram as much as possible. Sorry about that. We have utilized that diagram almost as much as we can. We need to do some connecting of facts. We need to connect these guys. How are we going to do that? Yeah, Loria. To add them all together. So add them all together. Yeah, let's do it. So this is going to be a really, really long line, right small. Here we go. Right small. So we're going to say that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle D, that was this line up here. That plus this plus this, measure of angle B plus the measure of angle E. Then I have to add that third line plus the measure of angle F plus the measure of angle C. All of that equals, and how much is that going to be? There it is. Yeah, good job, Oscar. 1,080 degrees. Are you not up here yet, Oscar? Go grab some candy. All right, we're so close. We have one more line and one more reason and we're done. I know, I really want to call on these people that have check marks, but I have to give it to new people. I'm sorry. I already have a check mark. Yeah, sorry, Leo, can't participate. I need to hear from Either at Ziri, I need to hear from Brian, I need to hear from Caroline, I need to hear from Oscar, Chewy, Emily. What are you gonna do? Help people around you. Let's see if we can get everyone to participate. Is that a thousand XP for everyone? Stop. Am I going to cold call on someone? You going to try it, Oscar? All right, so the inside angles don't matter, so you have to subtract those from 1080, and you get 900. So we're subtracting the triangle away. We're subtracting D, we're subtracting E, and we're subtracting F. From 1080, yeah. From 1080. Because those angles you said don't matter, they're not part of these angle A, B, and C. So we're subtracting that. Okay, so if I subtract that, so I'm subtracting A, or I'm subtracting B, E, F. I'm subtracting D, E, and F. And by doing that, I know that D, E, and F add up to, there's D, there's E, there's F. Those add up to 180. So by subtracting, and the same thing on the right, I'm actually subtracting 180. Okay. So what is my new line going to say down here? Exactly. So what was the reasoning to get to this last step? What did you do? Starts with an S. You say it. You subtracted. Subtraction 
property of equality. Thank you, Oscar. Done. All right. The rest of the class, you are asking me questions and you are working on the homework. Go to page 59, 52 if you're in the cardboard books. You're doing numbers one through three. Make sure everything is formal. Today I just glanced at them and said you're good. Tomorrow I'm going to be checking them a little bit more hardcore. You're starting on the homework right now, doing numbers one through three. All right, that concludes the notes.